This is part 8 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss all these attribute value selectors. This is continuation to part 7, so please watch part 7 before proceeding. Let's look at these one by one. Name equals value. This is called attribute equals selector. Here is an example. Title equals div on title. So this is basically telling find all elements that have the title attribute, but the value of the title attribute must be equal to div one title. So let's look at this in action. So here we are basically telling find all elements that have the title attribute and the value must be equal to div one title. So for all such elements we are setting a five pixel solid red border. So let's save these changes and when we load this page div1 and span1 are selected and if you look at those elements div1 and span1 both of them have the title attribute and the value of the title attribute is equal to div1 title that's why they are selected name not equal to value this is called attribute not equal selector and here is the example title not equal to div1 title so this is telling find all elements that have the title attribute but the value of the title attribute must not be equal to div1 title. So I want to find let's say all div elements that have the title attribute but the value of the title attribute must not be equal to div1 title. Okay so let's save those changes and when we reload this look at that only div2 element is selected that's because that's the only div elements that has the title attribute uh, where the value is not equal to div1 title now you can specify not equal to like this using exclamation symbol or you can use the not selector so basically we'll say title equals div1 title but then here I'm going to say colon not so basically this is telling find all the div elements which has got the title attribute but the value must not be equal to div1 title so let's save these changes and when we reload this the behavior should be exactly the same name star equals value this is called attribute contains selector here is the example title star equals title so this is basically telling find all elements that have the title attribute the value of the title attribute must contain this word title so let's look at that in action so title star equals title so find all elements that have the title attribute and the value of the title attribute must contain this word title so let's reload this page and look at that every element is selected except span2 and if you look at span2 that's the only element that has the title attribute where the value is not I mean where the value does not contain that word title rest all elements have the title attribute and the value contains that word title so that is called attribute contains selector name tilde equals value this is called attribute contains word selector and here is the example title tilde equals my span so this is basically telling find all elements that have the title attribute and the value of the title attribute must contain this word my span and that word must be delimited by spaces so let's look at that in action so title tilde equals my span and if you look at this span element look at that basically um, the title value ends with this word my span okay it ends with that and there is a space here so it's delimited by space so this span element should be selected so let's reload that look at that now this word my span it may be present even at the beginning okay so it starts with this word my span but look at that it's not delimited by space you know at the end here so as a result this won't be selected but then if we give a space then 
it should be selected. Look at that. Now this word can be present even in between, but then again it should be delimited by space, otherwise it wouldn't be selected. Okay, so when we save this changes and when we reload this, it should work the same way. So that's called contains word selector tilde equals name pipe equals value. This is called attribute contains prefix selector. And here is the example title pipe equals my title. So basically this is telling find all the elements that have the title attribute and the value of the title attribute must be equal to my title or it should start with my title followed by a hyphen symbol. So let's look at that in action. So title pipe equals my title. So either the value of the title attribute must be equal to title or if it, I mean, when it starts with my title, it should be followed by a hyphen symbol. And if you look at our elements here, look at that. We have an element here where the value starts with my title and it's followed by hyphen. So this should be selected. And if you look at this paragraph element, it starts with this word my title, but you know, you don't have a hyphen following that, so it won't be selected. Okay? So when we reload this page, look at that, only this paragraph is selected. Now, if you have the value equal to my title, even in this case, it should be selected. So when we reload that, look at that. So that's called contains prefix selector. Name caret equals value. This is called attribute starts with selector. So basically this is telling, you know, the example right here, title tilde equals div. So this is telling find all the elements that have the title attribute where the value starts with this word div. Okay? So title caret equals div. So let's reload this page and look at that. Div1, Div2 and Span1 are selected and if you look at Div1, Div2 and this Span, all of them have title attribute and the value starts with that word div. Name dollar equals value. This is called attribute ends with selector and here is the example title dollar equals heading. So this is basically telling find all elements that have the title attribute but the value must end with this word heading. So let's look at that. So title dollar and it should end with this word heading. And if you look at the HTML at the moment we don't have, I mean we have only this element where you know the title uh, value ends with heading. So only that element should be selected. So let's save that changes and when we reload this, look at that, only that paragraph is selected. And here are the examples that we just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.